Welcome back to WBTV News this morning on Bounce TV. I'm here with Julie Wadley, a certified matchmaker and relationship expert. And we're going to be talking about relationships today because, you know, when you're in one, it's wonderful. Yeah. It's exciting. It's new. It's fun. And then you have a baby. Yeah. And it's still exciting and new and fun, but sometimes you end up not having a lot of time for each other. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> that new bundle of joy also comes with a bundle of responsibility. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, yeah. So we're talking about today how to keep the relationship between you and your hubby alive. Yes. Yes, nice uh, and strong. Even after baby. Yeah, so, you know, a couple of things that you need to do beforehand okay. before the baby comes. So, one, you want to take stock of the health of your relationship. So, things that annoy you when you it's just the <laughs> two of you are going to become huge problems, you know, when the baby comes. So, you want to say, okay, here are some things that we need to work on before the baby comes. Okay. And so, after you do that, then you start to, you know, really think about building your support network who's going to help you who's going to do the chores who's going to do all the things when the baby comes so that you're not you know frantically running around sure. like who's going to do this and you know going crazy you take care of all the stuff so, for baby yes. next thing you know it's time to go to bed exactly and you guys haven't you know you haven't done anything any kind right. of conversation together right so. so either hire some help or bring some family in to help with those responsibilities mm -hmm. and then you want to reconnect as a couple so you know everybody says well when the baby sleeps you sleep when the baby sleep you guys get to reconnecting and even if it's just taking a nap together yeah. or just doing something really small, just making sure that you are spending time as a couple and not just, you know, two parents sure. <laughs> together. And then you want to, uh, as always, keep the line of communication open. So if you're having problems, if you're stressed out or if you feel like the partner isn't, you know, doing their share, and most of the time it's the mom feeling that way because sure. she has so much respons responsibility with the baby. You want to make sure that, you know what, can you please help me out? I know you might not think, you know, I, you may think I'm okay, but I really need your help. So yeah. that would help it's as amazing. well when you just communicate because yeah. they might not the they don't even know realize, right. wow right. I didn't know it's, you yeah. were feeling overwhelmed right and so. sometimes the husband wants to step back right they're not, they're not really sure what to do so you know you have to make sure to say I need your help and yes like yeah absolutely and uh, build in time for intimacy too. always that's important. always Yes. Yeah, and that's I guess speaks for <laughs> yeah. itself on exactly. that one. But yeah, exactly. communication is as key. in any part of the relationship yeah. is key. Yeah, that's key. And then you can enjoy that baby a lot more. Absolutely. Or babies. Or babies. Or babies. <laughs> Whatever the Families. case may yeah. be. All right, thank you, Julie, for coming yeah. on. Good advice there. Uh, we are gonna toss it over now to the break and we'll be right back after this.